I'm all here with Quincy Wilson, 45.19. Man, you're creeping up on my PR, which is 45.06. I already know. So, I'm big coming. How are you feeling? One word to describe that run. Um, I feel great. I feel executed the race. Um, executed the race pretty well. There's a lot of things that I have to work on. But coming off of one week of training since indoor, I'm feeling pretty good. Now, your last meet, I watched one of your interviews, and you said you're aiming for the Olympics. Why not, right? A lot of people were like, ah, you know. But no, you're only 0.19 seconds away from that qualifying standard. How does that make you feel? Know that it's really realistic. Um, It's feeling great. Um, coming out here just trying to stay healthy for the end of the season because it's a long goal it's a long season um, and so I just want to stay healthy and be able to uh, keep getting ready for my craft and things like that and just just keep working hard towards that goal and just being able to just run uh, great what I ran today I'm just thankful for what I ran for today man, congrats though man a couple years ago Noah Laws and Michael Norman they went up against the pros did you get a chance to ever watch that back in the days um, yes I've, I've been watching all those races studying them breaking down from 50 to 100 to yeah. 200 meters and so I've been breaking it down even this morning I was watching just and Robinson's 44-84, breaking down his 50 meter split. So what I had to do today to execute my race. Yeah. I'm glad you brought up the 44. It's on your mind, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yes, sir. <laughs> what is going to be your next 400? Um, I don't really know. Uh, just going week by week, uh, learning different things and just executing. So I don't, you never know. Whatever my coach like to throw me in, I'm going to just accept the challenge and go with it. Definitely, man. I see you doing real good. We haven't seen you much in the 200. For a guy who's at 45-19, you got to believe there's a 20 point. I've been looking at the PBs. I don't see the 20 point yet. Are you going to give us a 20 point? this year? Uh, I hope so. That's, uh, that's, that's the goal. Could be able to run 44, like you said, and we have to run a 20 point somewhere yeah. in there. So we may see a 20 point. I hope not 22. <laughs> <laughs> nah, definitely. I see a 20 point coming. I want to ask you a little bit about your NIL deal with um with New Balance. Okay. How's that been? You think that's something that other athletes at your caliber should aim for? Um, like, uh, NIL is great. Um, They give you a lot of chances that you get to, you didn't get to explore as a yeah. high school. I'm thankful. I'm an African American male. You don't yeah. really get the chances to really do it. So I'm just glad to be one of the represent being the youngest person in track and field to have a shoe deal uh, throughout the whole world is just amazing yeah man congratulations man what do you want to say to your fans before you leave I mean a lot of people look up to you I mean anytime I'm a track music too I see everybody waiting to take the picture you're one of the most famous track and field athletes in America right now what do you have to say to your fans um, just keep up the hard work I've been working extremely hard just going out there every day but also I don't want y'all to be uh, scared come up and ask for a picture yeah. just come and take a picture because I'm going to always take a picture with y'all of course alright man congratulations on your run I'm looking forward to seeing you for the rest of the season uh, it'll be at Penn Relays in a couple oh, weeks of man. course of course of All course right. <laughs> All right.